Cavecast, the uncensored show for nerds of all kinds. <sighs> October has been a very wonderful month, but I am I'm fucking very, over it. I'm very happy for it to be done. <laughs> so it's Big just facts, dude. That was, I mean, that was the thing where it was kind of like we knew that it was going to be very hectic. We knew that it was going to be over the top in some ways, as far as like time, you know, right. and, what, and what we can do and. Um, that's actually why there was no pa- uh, podcast last month, just because it was just the idea of like, man, like we just had no time to just sit down. We had so much happening, you know, but I'm I'm happy to say that it like it was, you know, like I would say the majority like was a good experience, like good things oh, were happening, yeah. you know, but it was just like that idea of like, wow, like whew, November, I welcome you, you know, that kind of a thing. Yeah. So. And then then it's going to be Christmas. Like and I'm like, I'm just I'm kind of I am I'm kind of over it right now. Just like the rest of the year is like. Yes, October was, you know, jam packed, but mm-hmm. it's like, you know, next month is still like Thanksgiving and then it's Christmas and then it's New Year's and then it's still winter for a few more months and then it's still and and it's like it is just it's like it's nonstop. Mm-hmm. And I think it's just the fact of November being so hectic, it like made me realize that. Yeah. And like I already hate holidays like that to begin with. And this jackass <laughs> the one night we decided to have the, the window, window open. open. Oh my god. <laughs> But no, I have a feeling he's Papa probably Wh- not. He gonna is s- probably the wheelie oh, pussy. Is he? Oh my- <laughs> Hell yeah! You know what? For, right. a, for a functional standpoint, we're gonna keep that in. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm gonna close that window. Yeah. <laughs> but no, oh my uh, god! It just it did. It made me it made me realize how busy everything is, and like the rest of the year. And it's like I. It's not that I'm I'm not looking forward to, it, but it's like, dude, I. I just don't want to right now right and that can that could change you know over the next couple of weeks but it's like we have we have the house it's probably going to have thanksgiving we have the house it's probably going to have you know christmas like it's we are that house now i feel like Mm -hmm. and which is fine right but when you've had so much happen in one month that you just like i don't want to people at all for the next four weeks right but i'm gonna have to yeah so and like you said, it wasn't that it was bad stuff. It was all fantastic things. Mm-hmm. But I realized it was on the like last day that everybody was in town when it was like Haley and, and uh, Rage and everybody. I because I was so amped and so like guys, you can see the uh, the vlog on the detour if you yeah, want to see some. I'll of make it, sure but, it's linked below. Yeah, but like I was so amped and everything, and I remember sitting there. It was probably like nine o'clock at night on i think it was what sunday or saturday Mm -hmm. and i just had this like all of my adrenaline all of my everything it was just like gone yeah you finally stopped right it was gone and it wasn't even like i didn't want to be around people i just didn't want to i didn't want to do anything Mm -hmm. and it was it was like wow i've never had like sensory overload like that because i normally don't and i got it a couple times that weekend and i think it was just because I was actually so used to working with people, even though I don't like people. Right. And then I didn't have to. And then now there was a lot of people just constantly around. And I was like, wow, I've never really realized how much that this kind of like affects me day to day. And then it was just like one thing after the other for like the entire month. Fences being put in, you know, things like that. So Mm -hmm. it just, it was like you said, one thing after the other, but in a good way. Yeah. And then we had Spunky. Yeah. And then we had Spunky show up this past weekend, and that was amazing. So, yeah. again, guys, don't take that it was a it was a negative thing. It was just, it's been a lot. Well, it's I know that my social battery is something that, like, and I don't know if it works this way for you, but it's the idea of, like, like where I will... <laughs> I will be fine to go, 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 go. And it's kind of like, no, I'm like, I'm, this is my new norm. I'm good. And then out of nowhere, it's kind of like you go from 80% like down to 12. Yeah. And it's like, where, where did this come from? You know, it's that type of thing, you know? And exactly. I I will say, man, like it was like my social battery was definitely ran out. Like after everything was done, but in the same hand, like I, I did have like my time to kind of like recover in between, you know, the trips and stuff that happened, you know, so yeah. it was kind of like, all right, like I need to just stop, you know, I need to, you know, relax. I need to do some things that make me feel good. Like I need to just, you know, that kind of thing. But it was, dude, it was so fucking worth it to have it like to, to like to have that exhaustion oh, because of sure. all that, man, like it was full disclosure guys is that, you know, it's, it's that whole thing where it's like, 
meeting people, you know, it's like, you never know how it's going to go. You know, there's that nervousness. There's mm -hmm. that thing of like, okay, like, you know, I've seen them on camera, you know, we both make content, that type of thing. But what are these people really like? Correct. You know, and I think that probably one of the biggest ones, if not the first one was Ron, you know, he was the first like content sure. creator that we yeah. met up with. And we, uh, yeah, did, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. We did a Nana war of steel. We did a cover of Valhalla We had a fantastic time making it. We made a video, like all that stuff. And, that was kind of like, I think the way that you and I said it was that, wow, we hit a home run on the first one. Like mm -hmm. we, we gelled with him so well. He's a very good friend of ours now. Like mm -hmm. he's like, he, he's, he's family. Like it's, it's that type of thing, you know, like him and his family too. Like, and it's that worry that you have that you're like, when am I going to hit the bad one? Sure. <laughs> you know, and it's, it's just the, it, it could be the thing of like, maybe you don't actually gel in person or if it's kind of like, no, you're kind of a prick or like whatever, you know, but I am so fucking happy to say that every single person that visited that was that had never met us before mm -hmm. was just a joy. They, they it, really were. It was, dude, it was so fucking incredible. And it was just that that moment of like being able to relax and just be like, you know, like kind of that, you know, there's many thank you moments where it's like, you no, know, no, thank you. Thank you for this. You know, like it just it was so fucking cool, man. Like, yeah. like everybody like. Like everybody was, I, I would say, quote unquote, well behaved, but it's like nobody got into a fight. Oh, no, like no. No, nothing bad happened, you know, because it was like, no, like we, we do like to drink. We like to hang out and do our thing yeah. and stuff. You know, again, I was, you know, a California sober, you know, because I had to drive. Well, yeah, but, you had to drive. Right. But in the same hand was that, no, everybody was just having a great time. Mm -hmm. And it was just the, the vibe of everything was just great, man. It was, Agreed. It, it was so cool. It was it was awesome to be able to have that, like, you know, the the discovery of what they're like when they are kind of loose, you know, or, or when, yeah, or when sure. someone's relaxed or when they're not on camera, you know, and the funny things well, that happened or the cool things that happened, the serious conversations, yeah. like all that stuff. Like it was just great. I, I, I have replayed it many times and I'm like, damn, that was a good one. Like, don't miss this. Like that, that was a damn Same. good one. And, and I'm glad that, you know, like with the vlog and stuff that it was, it wasn't a lot of, you know, us and a lot of the shenanigans, but because I was doing it, like I didn't want to just always pull out a camera, but going back to the whole, like, you know, we do like to have fun. You don't know how somebody's going to be and like whatnot, like, and especially when you mix, like just a party in general, like a mm -hmm. party environment and, you know, no, no kids are home. So like, it's kind of like all bets are off. Sure. You know, and for the fact of, like you said, being in person, because we, all the people that we have, we were hanging out with, like at one time or another, at least have been drunk or whatever on and, but, but behind a phone. <laughs> right. And texting these things on a live or in comments or whatever mm -hmm. it is. So it's like you still have that like wondering of like you were saying, like, what are they really like in person in this environment with us? Yeah. And like like you were saying earlier, like we hit a home run because luckily so far mm -hmm. nothing has been bad because I know that not only it's weird to think about you don't ever think about the other side, right? Mm -hmm. Because I found out over the last, you know, like two weeks or whatever, and the fact of like, you know, we were we were nervous about these scenarios, right? But the fact that both ends were like, no, we were scared of like what you guys were gonna be like, or like what we were gonna gel like mm -hmm. in person. And I, I know Haley said that this was like the first one of the first trips I think ever mm -hmm. that she's done. We're like. She didn't have anxiety the whole time. Right. She wasn't expected to front the bill on everything. No. And like, no, no. you know, like just all, all of these things, like that a normal like stress comes out of like, mm -hmm. you know, maybe like a vacation or like maybe meeting somebody for the first time. I mean, not for nothing. It's almost kind of like a blind date. <laughs> you, <laughs> you do know who we are essentially, but again, only on camera. Mm -hmm. But I, I was going to say, it's just, it's very interesting to see how everybody had the same worry. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, what are you guys worried about? Like, we're the ones like, well, no, they, they, they're humans too. Like they're going <laughs> to, they're stressing out over if we're going to be the same as we are on camera. Are right. we going to be dicks? Are we going to be like, whatever mm -hmm. it might be. And it's like, you know, I'm glad that everything did kind of work out because you know, it's like, you know, like you said, when are we going to get that bad one? Mm -hmm. And it's nothing personal, but like it will happen. Right. It will happen. And the fact that we've had it from all stages this past month, like Rage and Haley are 
newer mm -hmm. as far as like being subscribed and but we just kind of had this bond together and they came and hung out right spunky has been around since like six thousand subs like yeah. she's like an og yeah, cause, yeah I, so I, we yeah. had that dynamic which is weird well because I, I even asked her because i'm like i'm like what was the first one that you watched and i and i actually can't even remember what her answer was because i think that she said that she has long forgotten like what oh the i'm first sure it was but my my suspicion was always like maybe you know it wasn't nf or whatever and she's like no i know it wasn't nf it's probably falling in reverse that's see that's what i thought so it's i was probably like, falling okay. in reverse you know so but in the same hand it's just kind of like it's it's that that craziness of the fact of that it's like like she, like these people have been in our lives you know for you know however long of time but like spunky really is like her and lori like they're the ogs yeah you know like they were like the first ones and stuff that like commented do and you know you know like it's just nuts actually i found out something too do you know it's probably oh i'd say at least three probably five people though that i worked with Jarrett being one of them mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure Jarrett was like the 25th subscriber. <laughs> I never <laughs> thought about that because like it was, you know, when working with Samsung and stuff like, you know, it was still growing. But, you know, like you said, you 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 long forget about those things because it's not that it's not important. Mm -hmm. It's just it's the past. It's the past. You got to remind yourself of it. Well, right. And yeah. it's just like, you know, there's been so much that has happened since then. And dude, speaking of spunky, though. It was so funny. I don't know if she did this to you too. <laughs> so we we met uh, Cindy at different times of the day as far as like when she came in town, Kyle and I. Yeah. So I met mom's dropping Chandler off because she wanted to like come earlier before we did trick or treat anyways. Mm -hmm. So Spunky and Dev were in the back and uh, smoking or something like that. And mom was like, you better go say hi before you. I was like, oh, I am, I am, you yeah, know. And sure. So I, I walk out there and she was like, hey, Eric. And she goes, oh, wait, hold on. She goes, oh, my God, yep. Rick and Roach. Yeah. Said, did I do it right? I'm like, yeah, you did it right. <laughs> like, it's, it's the fact of the sense of humor and the the, the people that we have surrounded ourselves with. But even like from the originals or from like, you know, somebody that's within the past year or so, like, you know, yeah. probably Haley and Rage. Like, I'd say Rage. Well, he may have been around before I, I quote, found him, though, is my thing, because I See, think he knew the show. Yeah, well, th that's the one thing that still, like, perplexes me to this day is that, you know, like, when we when we interviewed him on the cave cast, we actually did a really long video call with him the week prior just because yeah. that's when when we were trying to do it. But weather prevented us. And it was like, no, like the power could shut off. Let's that just of hang thing. out. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was still that kind of thing of like, no, dude, like, you know, if we talk about anything tonight, like we can talk about it again. Remember, the audience hasn't heard it. Correct. So, but let's just hang out. Like we, we allotted two hours for you anyway. And we were on the phone with him for like six. Right. You know, like, it's just like we just we could not stop talking to him, you know, and it was. It was that weird moment of that when, you know, even on the on the cave cast where he was like, dude, he's like, I'm still like processing this that I'm here, you know, and it's it, again, like like we've said it before, where it's like, no, like if you saw how we are in our day to day, dude, like we are not like, yeah, we're not special in that way. Like it's or, At like, or like we're VIPs or this or that where it's like, no, not I wait in line little. to get ice cream. OK, like it's like it's that exactly thing. nobody yeah. even knows yeah. us. We're not even known locally, guys, like no. people don't understand. And I don't mean it like that, but like don't understand either what we do or mm -hmm. give a shit. There's there have been I would say I can count on one hand how yeah. many times I've been recognized from being on the internet and one of them was from tiktok correct so yeah it, from it, no, not from not so, Riker road yeah but that's the thing is that like sam like i think i've been like quote recognized like maybe a handful of times mm -hmm. in our hometown even in the town i live in now like i don't think i've even been quote recognized yeah. You think people sometimes stare at you, but I also wear weird offensive shirts a lot of times. <laughs> well, so well, that, see, that, that also doesn't help. Well, I think it's also the mentality too, is that like you and I have talked about this, but like, you know, you, you've had tattoos for the majority of your life of, mm -hmm. of what mm -hmm. I've been able to see. And like, like half my life, literally. Right. And it's, it, it's just, I don't see them anymore. I yeah. just see you. Whereas someone that is new or has we'll never seen you in person, that. they're going to be like, Oh my God, like that's definitely him. And look at that. That's cool. I'm like, I've seen the bird. Like it's like that type, yeah, of, right. that type of thing, not to be a dick, but it's like, no, it's just, it's old news for me, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So I think that it's very much more probable. Yeah. That you would be the one that would be noticed because of that. Like ju just because well, of, of the design designs and stuff you have on you you know i mean that that's fair you know it's just the fact of you know i i know that you 
since have been like, nah, I'm going to kind of keep it under control. But you also had like, you had your big beard for a long time. Yeah. You know, like you had some like very like visible traits that were like, that's, that's Kyle. Yeah. Being bald or like different yeah. things. Yeah. Like you had, you had that trait. Like, so it's like, you know, that's also yours too. Like you do have the beard and the glasses where it's like, well, people will go, that's probably Kyle. Sure. Like I know what he looks like. So just because it's not a tattoo, mm -hmm. but who knows? You can go get your tat first tattoo in the next six months and be like, I'm sleeving out. Like, you know, I don't know. I, I've actually thought about getting a sleeve, so we'll see. You know, I, you know, I think I change. think that when you like, sure, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's painful, but um, people that say tattoos aren't hurt are fucking liars. It's just some hurt less than others, but. <laughs> Unless if they're that or a glutton for pain. You know, well, I mean, there is that too. Like I had, they, they do call it tattoo therapy for a, re a reason, but either way, like you could go get your first one and be like, nah, you kind of like, you know, like your dad and like uncle Steve and stuff mm -hmm. were like, I got like one or two and I'm good. Yeah. But a lot of times, man, it's, it, you're kind of what I consider like the, the sleeper, the sleeper tattooist or tattooer or tattooed, whatever you want to put it. <laughs> You're the one that wouldn't likely get tattoos. You're mm -hmm. going to go get your first one and be like, I need all the tattoos. I can, <laughs> I can almost guarantee you <laughs> you're going to go, Fuck a guitar. I got to go get a guitar tattooed on me and have yeah, it like, I got a session <laughs> tomorrow. That yeah, type of thing. yeah, right. But who, who knows? But you, yeah. you never know. Like, you could be the next one and be like, nah. Riker Road brothers have they're all sleeved out. Like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> it's like you know. Then you can tell like the new uh, audience members from the old ones where it's like, yeah, man, the tattooed brothers. Ah, ah. <laughs> yeah, like, no, yeah. no, no. It's not always been that way. But uh, no, I, I've always for some reason I've always thought about my uh, my right arm. You know, if if I were to ever do it, that it would be kind of like a it's like your dominant a, hand, even like a like half sleeve, or maybe it would just be the sleeve down here. I'm not mm -hmm. sure, but uh, um, obviously like video games, you know, things like that, like, you know, the different designs, like, you know, pretty much anything that would be on my body would be sentimental. You know, of course. Like, you know, like, uh, I, I thought about at one point getting, uh, the Firefly logo on my right wrist and then getting the or deck from, uh, Death Stranding on my left. Mm. So it was kind of like, they both like, they're not designed the same, but they, the same, but they have like, you know, arms and branches to them and stuff where it's like, there's two kind of almost like cohesive, like sure. symbols and stuff. So like. Different stuff like that. The Fibonacci sequence, that's still something that I would love to do just to say that I've done of course, it. It, it yeah. would be black outline, so it wouldn't be a lot of shading, you know, things like that. But I think that's know, something something like those. Now, I'm like, I don't know if anybody else out there is the same, but like wrists get a little burny. Yeah. But if you're not getting a bunch of grinding, like it won't be bad. But like for something like, like your first tattoo, I don't want to say something small, but even like you were saying that Fibonacci thing where like, I feel like that's going to be a little bit more of that, like, I don't know how to explain it. Wispy is not the right <laughs> word, but it's not going to be like a fucking piece. You know no. what I mean? It's going to have that kind of lighter side to it. Like, you're not going to have a lot of grinding on it. No. To kind of give you an idea of like, this is what this feels like. Mm-hmm. And be like, do you want to keep doing these? <laughs> See, my, my my biggest worry is that I'll just puss out, you know, where I'm just I'm like, oh, I can't do it. You know, I don't but. I don't think so, man. And it, this is not to compare people by any means. But like, you know, Devin got the got his hands tattooed, you know, he got his wrist first. Well, no, no, I'm that just saying, crazy. like, he's got the backs of his hands well, yeah, done. Right. It's just, you it's know, like, the, the fact that his first tattoo was like, yeah, I'll just do it on my wrist. I'm like, are you sure? Yeah. Like, you know, so. But it's like, it's, like I said, it is painful. It's a different type of pain. I don't see you being going, oh, oh my God, stop. Like, it's not, you're going to go, this sucks. <laughs> this fucking sucks. <laughs> and you might just be one of those that is very vocal, like, I, I don't like this. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> that you have all the different types of people that get tattooed. But for the most part, everybody can handle it. Mm -hmm. I just wouldn't start like getting your Achilles tattooed or anything like that. Like, well, no, I mean, that's, uh, I, I would get one, you know, there eventually, but you know, so <laughs> I'm I've got my that. dude, I've got hard <laughs> limits myself, man. Like I just refuse to do it. That's <laughs> one of them. My, <sighs> my, my, uh, downstairs is another one. <laughs> I mean, like, it'll get close, but, like, unless I'm getting something really oh, funny, <laughs> it better be really funny to get my ding-dong tattooed. Like, I'm not getting my wanger done for just nothing. Wasn't there a guy that... Yes. I, I, well, no, it was... <laughs> <laughs> the answer to the tattoo question is always yes. yes. Some guy has done it. So <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh my God. No, it was the, um, uh, I think it was like LA Inc or something like that, but some guy came in 
And the, the the episode was kind of like embarrassing tattoos to have to do. And the one dude wanted something on his right butt cheek. So it was kind of like, all right, well, you know, I got to be close to his skin and, you know, be detailed with what I'm doing or like, you know, fill this stuff in. And he's like, his asshole's right there. Like, it's, you know, it's that type of thing. <sighs> but uh, I, I they didn't film it. And so I don't know if it really happened, but I swear to God, in this episode, this big cowboy looking dude came in. He went, yeah, he's like for, for uh, probably like like the heart of Graham, like for him or something. Like It was really weird. It was like a symbol. And he's like, yeah, I want that on the head of my dick. Can you do that? <laughs> what? <laughs> and I remember the tattoo artist just sitting there and being like, I think that the answer is yes, <laughs> but I don't want to say it. Like you could just tell that was like how he was feeling. But I think he finally was like, look, dude, and like, he's like, come on. <laughs> come <laughs> it was on. That type of thing. Like I know some people are very dedicated to their craft, but like this guy wasn't like, he didn't look like Ollie from fucking bring me the horizon. Right. He, he looked like a, just a young country boy. And he wanted, it was just kind of like, bro, like, why are you going to go that hard? Uh, yeah. Right. And then, what are you trying to prove and here? Like, Who's going to see it? Yeah. Like, it who, who would want to see that? Like, but at that just, point, like <laughs> you just whip your wiener out all the time. Be like, what's my tattoo? <laughs> I mean, I would, well, you, it's the only one you're going to do the, do the bun trick. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, <laughs> but I did know a guy that, um, lo locally, he actually was one of the like DJs for, um, one of the bars, so I, I knew him and he talked about it was it was me, I think, Chris and Jason. We all saw it in John and a couple other I think our girlfriends and stuff at the time. He said something about he had the smiley face tattooed on the head of his dick. And we're like, we're like, no, you don't. He's like, I 100 percent do. And we're like, we got to see it proof. And he was like, are he's like, do you he's like, are you sure? And so we're like, we're like, he, he's not bluffing. He wasn't bluffing. Oh this dude God. whipped his dick out, and I went, yep, that's a smiley face tattoo. And I remember Jason going, oh, oh, my God. Oh, shit. Yeah, really did it. God, no, no, Pretty no. Pretty detailed. So it wasn't even like a stencil outline? This nope. Was, this was no. colored in yellow. Yeah, oh, God. <laughs> like the smiley face, like the tattoo, or like the, like the shirt. Oh, see, anytime that you've described it, you said that it's like a bee sting. And just thinking, oh fuck, mm. oh god, and maybe that. like, like when the when a match is like <sighs> out and you kind of like touch it to your skin. Oh god, <laughs> bro, like if like when you catch your zipper, it's like an immediate like your life is over for like two <sighs> seconds, and you're gonna have have some uh, guy that's just gonna lay there and just be uh, like, all right, man, just shit. buzz the shit out of the. No, no, dude, yeah, I'm not about it. Yeah, I'm not dude. about it. What's yeah, weird? dude. So I'm just saying, like. <laughs> If you ever get a tattoo, just don't, <laughs> don't, don't uh, tattoo the head of your pee pee. <laughs> you know what? I'm clipping and that. that. <laughs> is a PSA. <laughs> he does this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And actually, it used to light up. I don't know. I, I need to get a new the batteries. Ba well, it. the batteries were taken out because uh, I think the cats were fucking with it. Remember? Oh, that's right. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> that was actually uh, whenever I would like show it to people, they would hear it and take off. Like they knew that Thanos was about to do mm -hmm. something. <laughs> it's like that whole nature pays attention. But right when I put this oh on, Thor god. legit barks, and I'm like, huh, funny. He doesn't like big hands. Dude, he will legit freak out if I put this on. He freaks out. He's like, man. I'm like, whoa, okay, Thor, like for real. I mean, to be fair, you do look like you're about to go into battle. So that's just, you know, that type of thing. You know, like, fine, I'll do it myself. <laughs> yeah, dude. So this makes me feel tiff. <laughs> you know what I want to see is somebody just punch somebody in the face with that. And they're just like <laughs> I'm not left, I'm not left-handed, so it'll be left-handed anger. <laughs> left handed anger. <laughs> yeah, that's all it'll be. Oh <laughs> my god. That's I've I've not utilized that before because I've it's usually that just it just takes over if it's going to happen. So it's kind of, so <laughs> yeah, it's that, the, the rage <laughs> just takes me over for the, sure. There there was actually a moment that um it's not one of my proudest moments, but <laughs> I'll wait till you're done drinking because <laughs> i don't want you to yeah um but uh no um <laughs> i was hanging the tv downstairs <laughs> you were there <laughs> you were there for this <laughs> and i just remember i fought like hell to get this sucker up there <laughs> i i did everything right and it just it was just crooked <laughs> it was, the just, whole it was time. so fucking we could crooked. not get it to fucking straighten out and uh, all i remember was that finally i just grabbed it and i tilted it a little bit and finally it was fine i'm like hey the bracket's off but the tv's straight that's all that matters 
And mind you, I had already thought to myself, Kyle, don't hit your head. <laughs> you need to back up before you bring your head up. I'm pretty sure I had something in my hands, like a nail, something that like was so hard to fucking pick up, especially on a hard surface. Yeah. And I kept dropping it. Then I bumped the remote and I grabbed that and I went, God, and I stood up full force into the TV that I just attached to the wall. Thankfully, still intact. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it hurt so bad <laughs> that I cut. It was the only time in my life I've ever done this. I went, <gasps> I was like, oh, <laughs> I, was just like, I was like, oh, oh, God, no. I'm like, I need to walk away. <laughs> and you looked at me and you're like, I get it, dude. <laughs> I get it. It's just oh, that that was the only time that it was like, I'm like, I'm about to punch the team. <laughs> Yeah, I, think, I, I think I remember you saying too because that was that was one of my TVs that you go oh, you, right, yeah. you going it's not mine it's not mine like had it it was one of those had it been yours it would have been over I think that it would have been fucking over honestly because I just have such a low opinion of myself <laughs> um, it probably would have been like the Riddler punching a cop. <laughs> <laughs> just, just that moment of like my my wrist will crack because <laughs> I you don't know the how TV. to commit. You did it didn't even break. <laughs> where? Oh yeah, there's a little discoloration in the uh, in the corner. No, that's where I dropped it last week. <laughs> that's where I hit my head on the corner. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, man. oh god, your wrist is all wrapped up in a cast. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, yeah. I, I will say I've never broken a TV, but I have been I've been shipped a broken TV, which was uh, oh, I was not happy. <laughs> Why would you be? I was. I'm like no. I'm like I'm like this. This needs to be fixed right fucking now. <laughs> I've been thinking of playing games on this all day. <laughs> that was my escape tonight, and you are preventing me from that. So, but uh, that was my escape. <laughs> I was really. That was like the time that uh, Devin was over, and he said that uh, you know, he had been smoking, and he was. <laughs> He was like, hey, man, he's like, you still got chips in there? And I went, yeah, yeah, there's chips. And he's like, all right, cool. He went in and he came out and it looked like somebody shot his dog. <laughs> and he just looked at me and he went, the Pringles are empty. <laughs> and to, which, to which I said, oh, yeah, I've been meaning to throw that away. <laughs> and he just he sat down the defeat like <laughs> he just sat down. He was like, dude, <laughs> I was really looking forward. <laughs> And I just at that moment, like I kind of felt bad, but then a part of me was like, "You should have shook it before you like opened it." Like that way, you're like, "Oh no!" Like it's like it's, it's you know, empty. It's empty. Or, but, or uh, bring your own Pringles. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> when I go to a party and I know for a fact that I'm going to get munchies or I'm just going to be hungry, I make sure that I have my own shit. That's just that's just yeah. How, that's how it should be. Right. So, right. Like yeah. if you're going to go to somebody's house, make sure you have your own Pringles <laughs> or your own pop. Or like whatever it is, like you can't just be like, all right, ate all your Doritos, fuck you, I'm out. <laughs> like, that's just rude. <laughs> that's that is the that's anybody because anybody that would do this, and I know because I was that guy, dude. I went to Luke's house so much, so many times, and just ate all their chips, <laughs> and I still feel really fucking bad about it to this day, dude. Like because I think that it, what what was said was that he's like, I love Kyle. I don't like it when he eats my chips, but I love Kyle. I'm like it was that type of thing. But, <laughs> I don't like it when he eats my <laughs> chips. I just, yeah, so I, I was an asshole for a little while, but I wisened up. But how do we how do, how did we get here? It was a uh, tattoo tattoos on, and penises tattoos and, on the dick, and then. I don't know. No, uh, you know what? I think that this is a, as good of time as any to stop for the week. So. You know what? You're <laughs> yeah. right. Yeah. So no, guys, we're, we're trying to get back into the groove of this. It's been a, a month off. So thank you for you know bearing with us through this entire thing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. But um, yeah, it's it's nice to be back in the room to do this again. So you know, get us back into that groove. We even have some ideas for some uh, some interviews that we want to do down mm -hmm. the road, which would be a lot of fun. So definitely keep an eye on that for a community page and everywhere else. But yeah, Eric, is there anything you want to tell them before we sign off until next week? <laughs> <laughs> Best podcast ever. <laughs> Adios. <laughs>